To draw a center line, go to Extensions, Cadman, Mesh Wrapper, Establish Center Line. This starts a line segment centered between three pick points, indicated by the purple X. Stopping leaves a construction point at the center point for you to work from for drawing or moving later. To start drawing a center line, the cursor changes to a number 1. Select the first pick point. The cursor changes to a number 2 with a rubber band line between two red X's. Select the second point and the cursor changes to a number 3 with a purple X showing the center between the two points in the cursor location. Click the third point to anchor the center point. Continue drawing from there, finding the center point between three more pick points. An orange rubber band line shows the path as it is drawn. Watch the purple X to verify where you are. You can draw from the outside of an object, clicking three points for each vertex, drawing the center line of an irregular shape. And you can turn on X-ray mode and track the orange cursor line as it creates the center line. Even if your shape is not closed, you can find the center because the tool is finding the center of three pick points. Established center line creates a group of the path and it leaves a guide point dot at each vertex to make it easy to work a push-pull sequence along the path later. You can draw a profile within the path group. To put the profile on the end of your path, select the profile in the end line of the path. Go to Extensions, Cadman, Mesh Wrapper, Align Profile. Align Profile orients the face perpendicular to the end of the line. Triple click on the path to select the entire path. Select Follow Me. Right click and edit into the app profile group. Click on the profile face and it follows along the path you had selected. You can see this tubular steel chair leg has far fewer polygons than the source geometry. Established center line takes points anywhere in 3D space and finds the circumcenter between those three points. Here the three point arc tool shows the center as I search for the third point. So you just click two points and the third point determines the center of the circle that passes through all three points. There's that same center point in 3D space. The Align Profile tool wants you to select a profile face or a group in a starting edge. The profile can face any way you want. It does not have to be flat to the ground. And the tool aligns the profile to be normal to the line, centering the profile at the end of the line. Sometimes SketchUp does not generate the bounding box of the relocated profile group correctly. Just double click to quickly edit the group and exit the edit to flatten the bounding box. Then you can spin or move the profile into place at the end of the path. You can align a group that contains a profile and the tool aligns it at the end of the path as well. Then triple click to select the path, select follow me, right click to edit into the group and click on the profile to follow along the path. A line profile can lift faces off of other faces. Or if the profile is hanging at an angle to geometry, the tool moves it normal to the selected edge. Do a quick edit exit, then spin and move the profile onto the end of the path. and follow the face along the path. 